Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you've all had a great week. So on today's video, I am doing this dragon makeup look and I think it turned out so, so cool. I was so impressed with it. This actually took me like five and a half hours to do it does look really hard but if you actually follow along it is actually pretty simple if you guys like this look then just please give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel i upload every monday i had read on my face by the way because i was filming tiktoks um with paint <laughs> so that's why my face and hair is stained red but anyway to begin with i take this cheap paint i think i got it from like the two dollar shop or something and it, it was really old so it actually smelled pretty bad matthew said it smelled like old crayons and he was so right it smelled so bizarre but i just take a damp beauty blender and just blend this all over my face neck and body which took a while now i'm taking the Kryolan super color face paints you just want to take any cream paints and i take this yellow color and blend this under my eyes I actually put a lot of effort into my base of the dragon, but I ended up covering up this with eyeshadows in the end anyway, so you can kind of skip this step if you want. I don't think um, this will do much in the overall look, um, but I thought it looked quite cool. You can either do the look with just the yellow lines that I do or the black and the eyeshadows and stuff, so I don't know. You'll see what I mean, but anyway, I just blend that yellow down my neck and chest and I'm like here singing to loud music because that's what I do when I do makeup looks. Um, it takes me so long so I just like zone out to music. Um, so I use the orange face paint in there and then I kind of am like blending that red into that yellow. Um, this red color kind of turned like orange so I took the red paint and I'm putting this around the perimeters of my face. It's kind of like shading like eyeshadow but just doing this with paint and it's quite easy to blend these face paints so that's really cool and I thought my body looked really cool like this. I looked like some kind of flame or something, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I put a lot of effort into the base, um, but I, like I said, I ended up covering it up anyway. So I'm using that sponge to blend in my shoulders and I'm blending that into the orange. That original red face paint that I used, like, yeah, like I said, turned orange. So I had to use quite a bit of red from that paint, Kryolan paint palette. Um, so yeah, just doing lots of paint and blending away. This took so long. <laughs> Now I'm taking the Makeup Revolution eyeshadow palette in a yellow eyeshadow. You just want to take any yellow eyeshadow you have and this is going to set the colors. Lots of these steps that I did isn't really necessary, but I do like when a look that I do is matte. So yeah. Um, so I took these prosthetic horns. I got these from Body Effects and I took this Prose like cream stuff. It acts like glue and I just stuck it on my forehead. So these are devil horns, but I decided to use them as dragon horns. And I stuck two on, kind of tried to get them even. Then I took these other ones that I had and stuck them on as well. Um, you can get these from Body Effects New Zealand um, and you can get the Prose from there as well. Um, and I also got these from Body Effects. These are like fish girls and I thought they looked quite cool for the dragon look. So I am using these. I've painted them before, by the way. That's why they're green. They usually come in like a cream kind of color. Um, that you can paint and this took so long because I had to paint it on camera. I got this face paint rainbow palette off Body Effects as well. I use this all the time. These are water activated paints so all you have to do is dip your paintbrush in water. This paintbrush is also from Body Effects. Just dip your paint in water and then it just works really well. I ended up painting over these horns that I've also previously painted. Um, this would have looked better if I didn't use prosthetics that were already like painted. Um, so yeah, I'm new to prosthetics, so I'm not an expert, but they stuck on pretty well. I ended up using some liquid latex as well for the gills on the side, just so they can stick down really well. And I kind of stuck it in my hair, so I was like ripping out my hair when I took these off at the end. But anyway, I'm taking that red activated paint and I am just covering those gills and then I'm taking the smaller brush and the yellow paint from that palette and I'm just doing like lines and just kind of like highlighting and making these look really cool and really detailed. I just kind of went with it and yeah, they turned out really well in the end. Now I'm just taking the red and I'm just kind of going over that again. It took a while to paint because it, 
there was green underneath. Um, so yeah, I kind of layered up a little bit. And then I used the yellow to really highlight the horns and I kind of gave these a lot of dimension. It was annoying because I kept painting it and then it kept going darker in the end. Um, so yeah, you want to use a really fine paintbrush for this and I'm using the Body Effects Rainbow Palette and I'm just drawing all these like scale patterns on my face. You don't have to do the exact same scales as long as they're like circular or kind of like sharp tooth looking like pointy. And yeah, I just did any kind of pattern. I've done a creative snake makeup look twice before, a pink one and a green one, so I kind of typed, uh, I kind of took the same concept. Um, yeah, this look is really similar to the snake one. Similar concept, paint underneath and kind of scale looking details on the top. Um, but yeah, you definitely want to do this to the nose because I thought that looked really cool You just do a straight line down and these kind of like lines going up um, Yeah, you can kind of see what I'm doing. It looks hard, but you can see the process here. It's not actually that hard You just have to draw a lot of um, Patterns on your face and I'm kind of just doing like fish scale looking shapes and I'm just trying to get it like symmetrical on one side to the other Obviously mine wasn't perfect, but it still ended up looking really good. Now I'm drawing a line from the mouth up to the cheekbone. Oh, I had to do that again because the other one was a bit too high. Because um, that's where we are going to do the teeth. So I keep continuing on with the scales. This takes so long. Like honestly, I've sped this video up so much, but it honestly takes so long and it takes a lot of patience. Um, I wish I did these little circular things like smaller. Overall it looked really good, but I recommend if you were to do this, to do the teeth from the upper lip downwards and not the bottom lip downwards kind of thing. So you have to kind of move the line, draw the line um, on above the top lip, not like from the corners of the mouth and upwards. But it still looked fine anyway, that's just me being super fussy. I'm drawing on the teeth now, so you just want to do like really big circles at the top and then make it pointy and you don't want little teeth you kind of want to do your teeth like this like really long and pointed and random i do i do see a lot of people do like teeth and they do like little tiny teeth and like a big black space it's actually better to do bigger teeth and always shade in your teeth because i see people do just start white teeth but that's actually not how teeth look like so i mean kind of yes in real life but if it's a drawing or a painting it's always best to add dimension and shadow so now I take the lines down my chest and this was the same kind of concept as the snake look that I've done I will leave those videos down below in the description if you want to see my green snake and my pink snake look but yeah just do this kind of pattern I kind of got this idea off of looking at snake images on Google um, and someone actually said to me, how do you get your circles so circular? Did you use a contractor or or something like that? I can't remember what they said. And I was like, oh my gosh, no, I just freehanded it. You just kind of want to let the brush take the lead and try your best at making them look as circle as possible. Anyway, I thought when I looked at the face that they looked too round like the scales. So I was starting to do like pointy um, looking scales on my body. Now I'm taking the Wet n Wild H2O liquid liner and I'm drawing this um, liquid liner. Like I'm just doing the wing really over exaggerated and I'm doing like this cut crease kind of design. I didn't get them perfect, perfectly symmetrical but I thought they still looked good. I'm taking this Makeup Revolution palette again and I'm using this like orangey red shade and filling this in the area and these eyeshadows are honestly so pigmented I highly recommend. Now I'm using the Rimmel Kind and Free eyeliner this one was so pigmented and what I love about this range they've got a lot in this range but they are all um, really good packaging like that's eco for the environment and everything is vegan and cruelty free using ingredients that are like good for you no nasty ingredients or anything no perfumes and stuff like that. So now I am using a mascara, putting that on my lashes and putting on some fake lashes to make me look like a cute she-dragon. Um, and I use that liquid liner to draw on some nostrils on my nose. Um, 
because yeah I just thought it looked really cool really similar to the snake concept um, and then I'm starting to draw the mouth details now so I'm just going over that line making sure to make it nice and thick so yeah it looks more realistic And this part wasn't really necessary. I used a cream eyeliner to like fill in these teeth, but in the end I ended up taking that um, Body Effects Rainbow Face Palette, palette anyway, which is water activated paints. Look how much more pigmented this was on top. So I highly recommend getting this palette from Body Effects. It is really good, so pigmented. They've honestly got everything on their website that you need um, for Halloween and creative looks. I love it, it's like one of my favorite websites. Um, but yeah, I'm just using this paintbrush. I got this paintbrush from Warehouse Stationery here in New Zealand. So if you want some really cheap makeup brushes, you can just get them from the warehouse or Warehouse Stationery. Um, so now I'm drawing around this the teeth with the liquid liner. Um, and it took me some time to do. You just want to have a really steady hand and just you want to have patience. I reckon anyone can su succeed at doing really cool makeup looks if you have an eye for detail and if you have patience. Um, and if you just take your time, like I know a lot of people do makeup looks and they just give up or they just kind of be like, oh, that's okay, and then they take a photo and that's it. But I reckon if you keep going and going and adding detail, it honestly would look. It looks so much better so like I said this is crucial for the teeth this is what I was mentioning earlier see how not great it would look if I just left them plain white but adding in that black shading just made them look so much more like realistic and like popping out kind of thing um, and then you don't want to leave them stark white you want to take some yellow and add this into the teeth because it just adds some dimension makes them look more realistic and I thought this dragon needed some scales or some like pointy bits because I was looking at photos of dragons on Google. I know they're not real. There are so many different photos of dragons and people's take on dragons. Um, but yeah, I just used the liquid liner and I did this like pointy pattern going up my eyebrow as well. I kind of wanted to hide my eyebrows because it just looked kind of weird. So I'm glad I did this because I think it looked pretty cool. And I also did that on the other side. Now what I did is I took the red eyeshadow and as you can see here like the look would have been fine without doing all of this if you wanted to stop here. So this is the part that took me like an extra hour but you can stop here if you wanted. But what I did was filled in all the scales with red eyeshadow like around the outsides and then I'm taking white eyeshadow and highlighting like the chest part here as you can see I kind of want it to look 3D I kind of want it to look like it was popping out kind of thing a really good makeup look just requires a lot of detail and shading shading is so important it's just like getting a tattoo without shading you know it look kind of weird um, and you could stop here but honestly this made it look so much better I took a black eyeshadow and a small little eyeshadow brush and I'm just Shading in like certain areas of the scales. I'm just not doing the full scale, but like, you know, half of it. Lots of darker areas, as you can see here. Just use a little brush. This took me bloody forever, but honestly, it looked so cool. It really added contrast and made the look pop. Now I am doing the chest part. I don't want to like fill in the whole thing in black, but um, oh no, I ended up filling in the whole thing in black. <laughs> So anyway, I'm just drawing around the chest and now I am taking that liquid liner. I was going to leave this part orange, like under the teeth, and then I thought it looked kind of strange. I kind of wanted it to look more like a open mouth. So I ended up using that liquid liner and filling in all of that space. And yes, I like working with liquid liner. I know it's so much harder to take off, but paint... Um, just isn't as pigmented as a liquid liner like I just love working with liquid liners people probably think I'm crazy because a lot of artists would use face paint or water activated paints but yeah liner just works so much better it's so much more pigmented and I just used it to like highlight areas around the face just to add some more dimension and some more contrast so now I'm brushing my hair back this kind of added to the effect like doing your hair like I think a good makeup look requires like 
a good outfit or like a good hairstyle to go with it. So I'm just slicking it back. This is what I usually do with all my creative looks. Now I'm taking the Primal Contact Lenses from Body FX. These are so amazing. They honestly have so many contacts on their website, which I really love. And honestly, they just are such good quality. And contact lenses honestly transform a whole makeup look. So I highly recommend that you purchase some if you are doing a creative makeup look or a Halloween makeup look anytime soon. Anyway, I hope you guys liked this makeup look. I think it ended up looking so cool. Don't forget to thumbs up this video if you liked it and subscribe to my channel. Comment down below what you guys want to see next and I'll see you guys in my next week's video. Bye!